Welcome to the Kafka's View, day 75 with no trim, that, at least that's what it feels like. But Lautaro Martinez is linked with Chelsea and the deal could actually happen. I'm excited, you best be excited and all the stats you need to know will be covered. Comparison to Tammy, we've got a bad boy duo on our hands. Let me give you the 411. Lautaro Martinez wants out of Inter Milan. He wants 10 million euros a year post tax. Inter can't afford that, financial fair play has ruined them. And all of a sudden, he is demanding his way out of the club. Who are the front runners? Well, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Manchester City and Chelsea are in pole position to get the guy's signature. Here are the stories that you need to know. So, the player wants the Barcelona move. I don't blame him. The weather, the beach, the lifestyle, Lionel Messi. The guy is a smart man. Issues at Barcelona are they don't have money. They have no money whatsoever. They cannot generate enough cash to be paying their staff. They're trying to save money on photocopying. They don't do color, they do black and white. That's how peak it is for them. Yes, it's that deep. So the deal is not going to happen, guys. He is not going to be a Barcelona player because they're going to sign Neymar and they're going to be broke. In reality, what does this mean? It means we might be first choice. Chelsea are willing to double his wages to 10 million euros. Do you understand what that means? 10 million euros is a lot of money. And yes, the money has tempted him to come to us. But at the end of the day, who cares? He's a world-class player with amazing potential that's going to attract even more better players to the club. This will be the Eden Hazard caliber signing, the N'Golo Kante signing. We need to get this over the line. I don't care if he's, we're not his first choice. We will become his first choice. And I love that. So, are you excited? If you are, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get on with a player comparison. Tammy versus Martinez. At the start of the season, there were three mindsets when it came to Tammy Abraham. One, he's not good enough to be a starter at Chelsea, needs to go on loan. Two, he's just a bench player, that's all he's ever going to be. Three, give him a chance, he'll prove to you he's the number one option. I think at this point, after the season he's had, which has been very good, going out on loan is not an option. So having him and Lautaro Martinez as the two options fighting for one position is going to be perfect. They're both versatile. They both can play as a two or a one. All in all, it'll be perfect. We haven't had two strikers of that caliber at the club, both getting a chance at the same time. So I think it's a no-brainer to bring him in. He'll push Tammy to become even better. And it will be one of those things where we can always switch to a two up top or a one up top depending on the game. I'm excited. I hope you are as well. Let's look at the stats though. So this season, both players were number one options at their club. Lautaro Martinez was playing in a two up top with Romelu Lukaku and Tammy Abraham was the unanimous first choice at Chelsea. He scored 11 goals, Lautaro Martinez at Inter Milan and got one assist. And more importantly, Tammy got 13 goals and three assists. That's an excellent output for both players. So if you're comparing those stats, both players are perfect to have in the squad. They'll fight out for minutes and both are very productive. So if you're looking at the deeper stats, shots per game. We play for Frank Lampard's team. The man loves the shooting in Charlotte Merchant. Tammy last year averaged 2.9 shots per game. Lautaro Martinez averaged 3.9. He will fit right in this team. The aerial duels. If you're playing up top alone, you're going to become a target man. Tammy is monstering over the aerial duels ones with 3.2. That's going to be playing to Tammy's strengths. But we always need an alternative option. Both players' pass completion isn't perfect. But in the final third, that's what it's always going to be like. You're not going to play, be perfect and complete every single pass. There's going to be risky passes and you're going to lose possession. I'm fine with that. Dispossess stat. This is super important. 1.4 for Tammy, 0.9 for Lautaro Martinez. In my opinion, that paints a good picture about Lautaro Martinez. He's so strong on the ball. He's almost Sergio Aguero, Luis Suarez-like. Look at him. He's attempting so many dribbles. He loves to run at players with the ball, loves to make things happen. I think it's really promising when you look at the stats on both players' parties because they're so different and it means they could potentially work together as a duo. And I am very excited for that. Fouls one. Lautaro Martinez is Eden Hazard level for 2.4. Guys, 2.4 fouls per game. This is what you want in a target man. The ball sticks to him and he always retains possession. We haven't had that since Costa. Niggly fouls, Merchant. 
Every time he touches him, he wins a free kick. Tammy needs to improve that of his game. I think it will come with experience. I am excited for these two. They're both not very good at key passes created. One key pass in the final third. That would come with age and development. I'm very excited. I'm dead serious. This is going to be the best signing we could make. I really hope we spend $110 million on him. He is worth every penny, people. Every penny. In conclusion, guys, those were the stats. Look at them. Talk to me below in the comments. Are you impressed by both players' stats? Is he worth $110 million? Will he be the downfall of Tammy Abraham? I personally don't think so. I'm very, very excited by this. I think he's worth every penny of the $110 million. If I had it myself, I'll dash it myself. But sadly, I don't. So, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. You made it this far. You must have enjoyed it. At least hit the like button. It takes no effort. And you're going to love all the content in the upcoming weeks. So, I'm out. Peace out. Bye.